What's up guys, Kate's here from Matador Darts and today I'm going to be taking you around my sort of dart setup, uh, the desk, the dart board and everything else and hopefully it'll be a good video, it's been pretty requested by a few people so I'm going to show you my setup today. Okay guys, so of course we're going to start with the main part of any darts room and that is the dart board itself. Um, currently using a 180 Gladiator 2 Plus, uh, I've used a Blade 5, didn't like the bullseye wire, I still do have it. Um, the balls I was just a little bit too firm for me. I kept getting a lot of bounce outs. Had a 180 Gladiator 3 and uh, the wires started lifting out a little bit. So I um, switched to this Gladiator 2 Plus which I have. And it's been pretty good. I've been using it for about a month now. And it's been doing okay. The next couple of months we'll obviously see how that goes. I've also got Harrow's Pro, Pro Match Play on the way. Uh, which I actually got for free from my university. So I'm um, actually going to get that set up here. Hopefully within the next week or so. The surround, I believe it's just a Harrow surround, it would cost like 20 quid, it was on special at Darts Corner, just a plain red one, I've stuck some England Darts stickers on there, obviously these were from the How to Customise Your Surround video, and I've just kind of left them on there. At the top here we have the 180 Illumina, obviously I've done a re review on this the other week, and um, it's a very very good light, I'm actually very impressed with it, um, they don't get many shadows at all. It's pretty bright, it lights up the dartboard well, and obviously you don't have a big old sort of uh, lighting system around the board, it's just all sort of there at the top so it doesn't distract you at all, and it is just very, very useful. That also acts as the bracket for the dartboard too, and uh, that is what the dartboard sits on top of. The backing for the dartboard, we just have some carpet tiles uh, tacked to the wall, then we have like a little sort of bulls, uh, uh, whiteboard here that you score on I just write random stuff on it including some stuff for uni and that uh, it doesn't really do too much a little red dragon sort of label there and down here we have a shelf just with loads of stuff on it which I don't really use uh, the whiteboard pens the sort of spirit leveler some practice rings which I don't use uh, the webcam for which I use to record the board a little checkout card and a camera battery charger and some flights and stuff that's all over there so yeah, that's it for the dartboard section of the room. What we're going to do now is take you over to the other part of the room where I sort of just display some dart stuff. Okay guys, so just to the side of the dartboard here on the left, in the corner of the room, we have a little sort of a dart stand. Uh, I don't really use any of these darts anymore, to be honest. I might do a giveaway and uh, give away a set of these darts. Um, we have the cheapest darts uh, on the internet that I bought for my first ever video. These are still knocking about. Uh, we have some Red Dragon Rebels, uh, which are 21 grams. Uh, they're very grippy. I actually really did like these darts until I dropped down to a lighter dart. Uh, we have the Red Dragon Dragonfly. Uh, I just leave these sort of setups on for people who come around and play. Um, See, so yeah, I have the Red Dragon Dragonfly. I have the Bulls Virus, the second dart in. And then at the back, these used to be, uh, I believe, my granddad's darts. Let's get a bit of a closer look on these. Uh, so yeah, these used to be my granddad's darts. These are actually Jamie Hughes B&W darts um, from probably when the PDC first started. But yeah, these are Jamie Hughes B&W darts. I never really used them, just there on display. Because obviously these come from a member of the family and they actually mean a little bit to me. And then along the sides we have some of the Matador flights. Again, might give some of those away because I don't actually use them anymore. Just some plain black flights. Uh, in between stems that I used to use and then just some other stems and points and stuff that again I don't really use. Then we have this Wayne Mardle signed shirt. Um, this just used to be a big sort of plain gap. And I figured out that it was a perfect place to put a signed shirt. And I wanted a sort of like... I wanted a dark shirt that was relatively cheap. Because obviously I couldn't really afford a proper fully signed one. And um, I actually wanted it to be a player that I actually sort of liked or enjoyed watching. And Wayne Mardle was one of the sort of the recognisable characters from when I was growing up watching darts. Obviously the whole Hawaii 501 thing. Uh, my dad's a big fan of Hawaii 501, so he was one of his favourite players as well. And uh, I always enjoyed watching Wayne Mardle when I was growing up. So yeah, this is his shirt. It's his newest shirt from when he's been with Legend Darts. Obviously, it's signed as well. And then I just printed off a little picture and made a little graphic here to put the Hawaii 501 Wayne Mardle thing in there. And yeah, that just displays next to my dartboard. So guys, this is the desk. This is where all the editing happens. Um, I have a 27 inch iMac with a cracked screen and uh, I had to put like a little phone protector thing on there 
but yeah 27 inch iMac um, I love ed editing with iMacs they're so much better than sort of Windows computers uh, this is a 2013 version I got it sort of second hand refurbished and um, the final part to sort of my whole dart setup is the darts drawer I call it I think everyone has one of these drawers in their house somewhere so I'm going to open it up and as you can see it's absolutely packed to the top with loads of dart stuff as you can see just boxes for stuff the practice rings uh, my 15 gram designer ultralights which are my match darts uh windmill case which i haven't used for months because obviously we've been in lockdown and we're not allowed to play darts anymore flights flights uh point protector nose cone things more matador flights cheap case uh bags full of wall plugs for the dart board more stems um a freddo tin which again is just full to the brim with flights and stems as you can see here um, all of this stuff has been bought in the last sort of nine months since I started playing darts at the start of the year again so you can see I've been through a lot of stuff experimenting trying to get better uh, a mission darts case again another one which I actually really like um, might do a giveaway on one of my cases that I don't use my old 180 case this was actually uh, my oldest case I've had this since I started playing darts when I was like 16 um, another sort of mission case again might give one of these away as part of a big sort of giveaway um, and yeah as you can see all the way to the back just some cases and more flights and stuff just absolutely full to the brim full of darts equipment and yeah guys that is pretty much it um, sorry it hasn't been the most technical video sorry it hasn't been the most entertaining video but people wanted to see my dart set up and that is what I've got um, all filmed on my phone all just commentated through with my phone so I can easily stick it together and get a video out um, obviously, as I always say, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Matador Darts. The link will be in the description down below. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new for more darts content. Leave a comment and put what you want to see. Obviously, I was never going to make this video because I didn't think it was going to be entertaining. But apparently, people wanted to see it, so I've done it. And um, yeah, obviously, like I said, if you've got any video ideas for me, leave them in the comments down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.